Hi, my name is Jason Webster. I'm Beck Cybert, Central Illinois Practical Farm Research Director. Thanks for joining us for today's PFR update. Today we are uh, in a cornfield near uh, Downs, Illinois, and we are side dressing some nitrogen with our, our Hagee high clearance unit. One of the things that we're testing today is a new uh, disc sealing device that we've, uh, we've uh, installed on this Hagee nitrogen toolbar. What we've got is we've got a high pressure injection unit that we're uh, putting liquid nitrogen on but we've installed this disc sealing unit to help cover up some of that 28% that liquid nitrogen to make sure we don't lose any with volatility. So we make sure it gets covered up. It's one of the things, uh, one of the problems we have with 28% toolbars, if we can't close that seal, uh, close that slit up, we can't cover up that nitrogen, we're at risk for volatilization and that 28% that liquid nitrogen will just float in the air and we'll lose that nitrogen and we won't be able to feed the corn crop. This disc sealing unit will help cover up that nitrogen keep it in the ground, keep it available for that corn crop. Seems to be doing a pretty nice job going through the field. Uh, the corn right now is in the V2 to V3 growth stage. It's probably a little bit too small to be side dressing right now with these disc sealers because we're going to throw a little bit of dirt as we go through, especially as we increase speeds to roughly 9 or 10 mile an hour. So perfect scenario would be this corn getting just a little bit taller and we could go about as fast as we wanted to do. This would do a nice job of covering up that 28% and uh, do a good job for us. So let's go to the field and we'll show you how these uh, disc sealing units are working. One of the problems we have with side dressing nitrogen, especially with 28% uh, high pressure injection bars, is that sometimes we have a problem covering up the 28%. We have a coulter that runs in the front of the unit and we, we create that slit in the center of the row and then we've got a high pressure nozzle that inserts that 28% nitrogen right behind the coulter. And depending on the conditions, how hard the ground is, how much moisture we have, sometimes it's difficult to get enough dry dirt to fill that, that slot back in and cover up that nitrogen that we just applied. So one of the things that we're doing today in, in this particular uh, demonstration that we're doing is we're, we're testing these disc sealers from nitrogen sealing systems, and they're based out of Danville, Illinois. But these disc sealing uh, units, they're gonna basically act as a way, as a, as a cover board to help pick up soil and throw it back on top of the row, exactly right on top of where we've applied our 28% nitrogen. So an effective way of, of covering up that nitrogen, keeping it in the soil, and keeping it available for the corn crop. You know, as, as expensive as nitrogen is, we don't want to lose it. So we need to make sure that once we apply this nitrogen, we're not losing it to uh, vol uh, volatilization. And, and basically volatilization, nitrogen losses, is going to occur when it, it creates a gas and it escapes in the atmosphere. And so this is a simple thing that we can do just by using a disc sealing unit to help cover up that nitrogen, protect it, and keep it there for the growing season so our corn crop can use it. Again, these are disc sealing systems uh, from nitrogen sealing systems based out of Danville, Illinois. Here's what it looks like after we've run. We've got our disc sealing unit where we come in, we apply our nitrogen right in the center of the strip with, and, that, and this uh, nitrogen is going to be applied right behind the smooth coulter. Our disc sealers in will grab soil out of the outside and bring it into the middle and cover up that 28% liquid nitrogen that we just applied. So you've got a nice strip here, we've got soil right on top of the nitrogen that we've applied. It's going to protect that nitrogen, keep it there, and as this corn grows it's going to be able to grab that nitrogen. and. Um, uh, it should, should be a, a nice situation for this corn crop. Now, as we look at some of the, the, the problems that we've talked about with 28% high pressure units not sealing the row, let's go ahead and take, it to row unit, take a look at the row units that we have that do not have the disc sealers. So here is a row, unit, a row right here that only has the smooth coulter in front and a high pressure injection nozzle behind it. You can see we don't have that soil lifted up and thrown on top of it. We've got some liquid nitrogen right here on the top of the ground that's not covered up. It's not protected. And this is what we're talking about um, with, with liquid nitrogen that's not covered up. Um, it's it's going to be subject to volatility, volatilization. This is going to um, basically going to be lost as a gaseous form into the atmosphere. This is nitrogen that we paid for. We're going to lose it. 
So it appears right now that the disc sealing system that we're looking at is doing a nice job of, of uh, protecting this nitrogen, getting it covered up. It's doing a good job.